Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palitska International, Neil Artist and Educator, and today we will be painting an angel from Stitch Havoy preview of her in here. Cute, nice and summery design. I hope you really enjoy learning how to do it. So let's start. So yeah, we've got an awesome stitch, but he is feeling lonely and we have to paint the angel and that's what we are going to do it today on those three tips. So again, we want to create some background and I will be using 253, which is uh, an actually new collection. Uh, looks pretty, pretty nice. And uh, I want to place this color on the top and here and on the top on the other tip. Now we want this color on our mixing palette too, because we will be using it for the painting. The next color, which I think will look absolutely awesome, is 200. That's a sugar lash. Sugar lash, slap it in. And we might need it a tiny bit of it too. And then let's do some pink one. Or purple, gosh, pink or purple. No, let's do a pink. And here, oh, I've got an, another idea then. <laughs> too many options. So I will place this purple. No, I'm not going to. We are going to stick with that. Then the sponge. And for ombre, I'm always cutting a small piece of the sponge and then using the um, tweezer and a sponge, we are start blending the colors in together to create our ombre. So keep massaging it in. until you're happy. Do the same in here. And you can see this uh, second tip takes much better because my sponge already absorbed some product. But again, I will show you a wee trick what I'm doing to get even better results. Okay, so the first blending has done and then we are going to sprinkle it quickly with some clear acrylic powder and then cure it. Do the same in here. Here on the background I want to use only those uh, light purple so I'm just dipping in the sponge in there and just doing a little bit of that background on the top. We don't want a lot because we want to um, do the painting in here, so just a tiny, tiny wee bit, and then cure it. We can close our acrylic powder, we are not gonna need it anymore. And then start putting on our mixing palettes other colors uh, we want to use it. So I've got some white in here. In my spatula, get rid of the sponge for now, white. I've got also a mixture of the pink one and I usually um, do it like in a small pots. I use the colors um, which are the most popular so I will have, if I finish my white almost, I will have a pot of blue and pink mixed already. Uh, I think it's super cool to have that. Now here we are going to create a color for most of her body because it is gonna be like a very light um, pinky-ish violet color. That's a perfect match. It's just an absolutely perfect color. Fantastic. Clean my spatula. And then let's finish the ombre news. So at the purple. Just a tiny drop of this color because this one is extremely highly pigmented so this one is very very highly pigmented so I want a small drop of that color as well and because of the acrylic powder 
we will have a better pigmentation of the entire uh, tip. Like the product is gonna stick in much better into our tip. So it's easier to achieve a really nice color coverage. And then you're going up and down a little bit as well, different directions. Just to have a nice blending. And then give it a cure. I should actually swap the color, so it should be purple, pink, and then the darker one at the end. That will do nicely. Okay, and then cook it. Okay, let's start painting what we have to paint. I will just make this top a little bit more pigmented. So you can see it like the difference in between the tip with the acrylic and the difference where there is no acrylic. Watercolor brush and we are going to start painting the head. So the head is with this color which we have mixed it. Just pick up a nice scoop of it and then start painting this head. I like using the watercolor brush because it speeds up my work so much. So nice rounded shape. I have um, placed Angel a little bit lower than the stitch because she's got those fancy bits and pieces on top of her head. <laughs> And we want to uh, paint that in as well. So just a nice rounded shape. And then on the other side as well. So first of all, again, I'm starting only with the splashes of the colors and kind of indicating uh, where the things are gonna be. So the eyes are going to be somewhere here. The nose will be somewhere there. <laughs> that looks terrible. <laughs> this is always so funny how... It's not too bad. Is it? <laughs> I think it's really bad. <laughs> yeah, I think it's always like those kind of old lines are bad. That's it finished, guys. <laughs> um, no, I'm only kidding. Uh, and then the hand. And the back. So she's kind of a little bit on the side. Here is another hand. Now I need to take the other tips. Because straight away I want to kind of measure where the ears are going to be. So this ear is gonna go through behind in there, one third of the tip and just come in here. Okay, so I've got this part of the ear and then another ear is coming up in here and I'm going to have just a wee tiny bit of it. Actually the color inside is quite nice as well. Let's make it a bit lighter.
this tip, I can cure it. Here I've got more space, so I can paint it more straight away. That goes twisted in there, then comes up somewhere here. Sorry, cameraman, I know I'm kind of like all over the place. And then the ear. So just a wee triangle here. I mean, obviously this is all just a splashes of the color for everything. We triangle there. Just a tiny bit on the top in here. And then the entire ear is visible there. And then those lighter color in. Cure it. And I can also cure hair as well. Oh, should I? Yeah, I could maybe just color in some pink as well. The eyes, I want to go them quite close to the edge of the head. Nose. So I didn't cure my product yet, so I have to be very careful when I'm painting. Fab! Let's cook her own. We can also top coat Or add maybe more detail. Let's add more detail in. So D liner brush. Purple color in. And I'm just going to add a tiny bit of the detail in the into those ears. Same in here. Okay, we also have to paint the, um, the part of the ears. which is missing. <laughs> so those light color in here.
straight away I'm going to outline them. And you can see it also with the outline we getting rid of any smooth lines so the watercolor brush is just to bring like color in okay we can also paint the eyebrows We wrinkle above the nose, add a tiny drop of the black. To our purple, so basically what I did, I have just um, pick up the black with the brush. I clean the black off from the brush and then I dip it into the purple, so I've got a much darker shade of purple. Paint the nostrils. Just with like a wee shakes of the brush. Clean it off. And then just sharpen up the nose. We line just below the nose, and then we are going to paint the smile. We chin. And now it's the time to freeze it. So those the other tips because I actually can't remember did I cook them or not. Clean the brush. Some detail on the fur. Oh no, had some that color in my brush so my white got dirty and gray see that's why it's also good to freeze the product sometimes because if something goes wrong you can just clear it off without of removing what you have previously painted so I need to clean my brush in a white color if I want to swap it from the dark so it's like almost the brush needs to drink that color in. I wanted to add a little bit more definition into the chin here. 
Okay, now let's paint the eyes because it's it looks pretty weird. So you could use either a watercolor brush or even a dotting tool will do. Uh, let's make them maybe blue as well. So we'll drop off the blue. With the white. And I'm gonna paint them lighter on the bottom. watercolor brush <laughs> will be too difficult with the dotting tool so I'm shaping my brush and painting the eyes D-liner brush. Paint the eyelash. Go around my uh, blue. See what I did guys, so like if my brush is in this position I cannot see it where the, the tip of the brush is, so I have moved, moved it into the lighter color so I can kind of see it where my brush is. This is quite a good tip as well if you're painting like a really small detail. Black and blue together. Because I want to blend that color in a little bit. Okay, another eye and eyelash. So press hard and then light. You get a really nice triangle this way. Then go around it. Swap for the blue and just blend it a little bit. Okay, because we have painted quite a lot of detail, I don't want it to get damaged, so uh, I will just add a tiny bit more definition on the eyebrow. Extremely thin line. And then we are going to freeze it. The other tips are completely cooked and we are going to do just like a wee palm tree or something. So usually if I'm painting uh, something um, more time consuming, I would, uh, on the other news, I would go much more simple. So top coat in, and you can see it, top coat uh, always smooths out if you're using like a sponge and acrylic, it's, it smooths out the surface quite nice. I wasn't also very bothered about uh, doing uh, perfect ombre combination because most of it will be covered with the leaves anyway and in general like 
I tend to save the time on every single beat uh, whenever it's possible, so there we are. Okay, next, next thing. So we have to go around the eyes with more detail. I have wiped it just on the dry wipe. I have wiped my brush and then this is going to be those color which we painted body but a little bit darker like you know I, I need to make the eyes not as flat uh, I suggest you start from the place where you've got the eyebrow because even if your brush goes thicker by mistake then you're going nice and thin like hardly any product on it I find that this is always the easiest way like to paint it such as extreme detail because uh, this is something basically which is hardly visible so start from the thicker point it's kind of like almost warming up your hand and then once you've got it uh, right you can paint it on the other places See those little line, even if it's not visible, like it makes the eyes look much better. Okay, we can use the same color to outline the body and also um, kind of fix the shape of the head because it's not perfect yet. Again, as you can see it, I'm... Um, here, there we are. If you if you're painting like the sort of thin thin lines for old lines, if you miss some place, it's okay. Like see here, I don't have much. It's absolutely fine. I think it looks even better than if we're trying to paint it too thick. Okay, below the head. Now go back to the watercolor brush because we want to do a bit of shading. So clean it in to the color we want to use it because there was some black on it. And then we will do a bit of shading. You can also put a drop of the top coat, ideally the silk of top gel. Because this always will help you kind of paint smoother and give you better blending results. Okay, so this hand goes a little bit on the face. light pink from the belly and then this darker color here that's the back it starts to look much better Okay, I can add a little darker on the nose. Add sparkles in the eyes. So 
a decent amount of white. And then give it a flash kill. Okay, when she's cooking, we can start adding more detail here. So black. And just so the things go with the stitch, we want to paint some leaves. So this is quite quick way of painting them. I just we go one side and prolong it. She actually didn't took that much that much time, I think. <laughs> it. So you can see it when I'm painting I'm just twisting both ways and then we will be prolonging it. It then work opposite way. I do really like those weave fan lines on those leaves. Okay, let it cure and let's finish Angel. So she has a chin, like, and I've got Dileva, should I just uh, add shadowing in there and just, or show her teeth? No, let's do, she can't be the same what this stage is. So we are going to add the shadows. Again, I have to clean my brush. Put a tiny wee shadow underneath.
And I think that's her finish, to be honest. Just a light reflection. That was too light. Uh, I took too much white in there. And then light reflection on top of the head. Remove the fluff <laughs> with another fluff. <laughs> oh, come on, don't do it to me. Can you see it in the camera? It's just a weave triangle of the light reflection. Okay, let's cook it and that's her finish, absolutely finish, nothing more in there and see the final results after the top coat because then the things will look much, much prettier. So top coat in. She's actually cute. And of course we have to add some leaf into that tip as well, otherwise it wouldn't look nice. Cameraman is showing me to... <laughs> to yeah, because he's fall asleep. It's okay, don't worry, it's fine, no, you can go to sleep. <laughs> it's okay, don't worry. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Now, this leaf should go that way. slightly smaller than the previous ones. And then connect into that tip so just in there one leaf. Okay, three. 
Fantastic. Let's cook this one. And this one. And then let's see all three together. And also let's see it together with the stitch as well. <laughs> He's yawning, guys. He's yawning. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it's a more time-consuming design. It cannot be like painted quick and I cannot talk a lot. Imagine like you have to hold your breath. So I'm removing a tiny bit of the inhibition layer which is on the black. And I like it how like how it looks more texture when the tip is done that way. So here we are. Let's place him there, because they are in love with each other. We actually got a wedding anniversary today. <laughs> but we don't, uh, we don't call the wedding anniversary much. Uh, to be honest, we kind of more count how long we are together, because it took us a couple of years to decide if I definitely can live with him. <laughs> no, guys, it was a full... <laughs> No, it was a really grown-up decision and and we wanted to to be sure, not each other, like be sure that's, I don't know, that's, we want to get married and obviously we had Olivia before we get married, <laughs> so we we didn't want to fail a push, you know what I mean, like we wanted to be getting married because we wanted to get married, not for any other reasons. And that was a good decision. Do you think so? <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's gonna be in trouble now. <laughs> okay, so that's a cute stitch and angel together on the one display. Closer, closer, closer. 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 Okay. There we are, guys. I hope you have really enjoyed it. If you didn't see this video, just go back and uh, and check it, other tutorials. If you're new in here, hit the subscribe button uh, to see more tutorials. And to existing subscriber, guys, I'm sending you huge glittery hugs. And bye for now.